Hey, you guys. It's been a while. I'm back. But I want to explain some of the reasons for my absence. And there's three main ones. Number one, it's really, really, really difficult to come out and say the things that I say and show up in this world as authentically vulnerable as I have. It does make you kind of feel exposed. I was at a job interview the other day and the guy was like, I've seen your YouTube channel. And I felt like I was sitting in front of him completely naked. It was a really interesting moment. So yeah, me having to enter the job market again, knowing that all of my content and all this stuff is out there for anyone to Google or research or whatever, I might have made myself completely unemployable. So I guess we'll see. I mean, <laughs> anyways, the second reason is people have said a lot of really interesting things to me. And while I may seem like this really tough exterior, like, you know, nothing can hurt me kind of person, which is kind of how I like to come across, it's a defense mechanism. I'm really soft on the inside. And what people say about me and to me, like, it affects me. And sometimes it's hard for me to recover. I remember one guy was, like, commenting on a video about, about my boobs. <laughs> you know? It's... You never really know what you're going to get when you do this, when you come out and be public like this. And I wasn't really fully prepared for that at all. Um, and the third reason is because that's the most important reason, really. It's the one keeping me back the most. But who am I? Who am I? And what do I know? You know? I mean, I know myself and I'm bumbling through life. I'm, I've got financial issues, I've got relationship issues, I've got, um, you know, spiritual issues and blocks and, um, yeah, who am I? And why would you guys want to listen to me? What do I know? Seriously, that's what I struggle with the most. It's never my intention to put anything on anyone. And if you've ever had a reading with me, it's one of the things that I set as the first intention when we go into the records together. Is that only that which is in your highest good? Will you only will you even hear? It's never my intention to put anything on anybody. I don't know anything more than anyone else down here does. I'm just navigating through this whole reality as best I can as well. So, you know, it's really difficult for me to sit here behind a camera. It feels kind of arrogant, you know, as if I know something. I'm just sharing with you my experiences and what I've come to find out. And I don't think any of us down here really knows. But if it can help you and you resonate with it and you found my channel and you found my Facebook group and you found <laughs> my Facebook page, you know. All I can hope is that I can offer some glimmer of hope, some tidbit of knowledge, some practical piece of advice that helps you on your journey. So that's really the main reasons for me hiding the last five months. I've been working through those things and it's been tough stuff for me. And to be honest with you, um, it takes me a while to process things sometimes. It's uh, shadow work. And I just have been trying to flow and, you know, be present in whatever moment I'm in. <clears throat> but I have been highly encouraged by my higher self and my spirit guide team, the Dope Ass Alliance. Shout out to you guys. Um, that it's time to come back out of hiding and that I'm not helping anybody by... Putting my little hide from the world mask on and staying in my protective little bubble, I guess. And it's time to come back out. So here I am. Um, I am definitely going to try to be consistent about putting out videos. So if there's anything that you guys want to see or anything that you're interested in or learning about, let me know. Um, 
as part of me coming out and pushing myself, I am releasing my course uh, called Journey Through Ascension on January 11th, Portal Day, 111. Um, I really am going to keep it pretty small at first. I think I'm only going to open up maybe like 10 spots. So we'll see how that goes. But um, if you want to be waitlisted or if you want to reserve your spot, please let me know. I'm going to keep it extremely affordable. It's going to be a monthly subscription with weekly calls, um, as well as shadow work exercises, meditations, and obviously a lot of disclosure. Okay, so um, be on the lookout for that. But if you want to interact with me, I'm going to be uh, releasing some exclusive content on my Facebook group page called Be About It. And I also have a super fun tribe called Crystals and All Things Metaphysical that I co-admin with my friend Christina, who makes the most amazing Organite pyramids, by the way. Check her out. Um, and so those are a couple of places that you can connect with me. Um, again, like I said, you guys, this isn't super easy for me, so I would really love it if you would protect me and keep me in your love and light bubbles. Um, and again, like, subscribe comment. I don't know. Show me some love. <laughs> Hopefully those that resonate with me and need my message will find me. That's pretty much all I wanted to say, but that's how I back about it. So just talk about it. Be about it. It's my, uh, it's my ultimate goal for you guys. I try to show up as authentically and present as I can. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for loving me through my absence. I will try not to run away again and be consistent. So, all right, I'm back. Get ready to see more of me. I love you all. Mwah.